Weaker State in the final defeated Oregon State to get here to the second round. BYU's Cougars, 25 and 5. They were the 26 and 5 make it, and they were winners of the Western Athletic Conference regular season, but lost in the tournament before getting to the final. Liddell Anderson, their coach, is the WAC Coach of the Year. Cardinals in red, BYU in white. And Herbert Cook controls for Louisville. Tim, I think we might point out right away that these two teams represent conferences, the Western Athletic and the Metro, that have had all of their representatives eliminated from this tournament already. They are playing for a little conference pride today. Opening attempt by the Bradford Smith, the freshman guard, rebounded by BYU. First Wyoming and UTEP beaten out of the WAC in Florida State and Memphis State out of the Metro. Memphis State went down today. Oz and Fields and work the backcourt for the Cougars. This is Michael Smith. The Chapman, use of it chasing to the corner. Oz, three-pointer to start the game for BYU. Marty Haas of Midvale, Utah. This is Ellison. Cardinal ball. Tim, of course, BYU got off to a very bad start against North Carolina. Charlotte down 7 0. They came out of the box quickly today. Michael Smith had 29 points in that game against Charlotte. And he was brilliant in the overtime. Tim bring him down a little zone here, a little 1 3 1 zone. And he came missing, rebounded by Smith. That's to combat the, the uh, Louisville quickness. Pass for Chapman, can't hold on it. Made a good recovery away from Ellison, and Haas lets fly another three-pointer. Make it Toulson. Tim, the three-pointer has plagued Louisville offensively and defensively for two full seasons now. It also plagued our Pan Am team coached by Denny Crum because he simply does not like the shot. He hasn't put it in his offense. He barely ever defends against it. He came in for a lot of criticism in the Pan Am game for that. So Haas and Toulson with a pair of three-pointers give them a six to nothing lead. Payne won't go for him. Smith battling for the rebound, and it's taken by BYU. Toulson, as we remember, Crum coached the United States team, which was upset by Brazil in the final game of the Pan Ams as Oscar Smith throw in about 100 three-pointers. Off the BYU player, Toulson. Cardinals get the ball in the turnover. So Bradford Smith works his way to three-point range and that won't drop for him. Payne gets the rebound. Keith Williams handling. Williams out for Ellison. Cardinals hold early here. Never with another rebound. Never nervous. Has missed his first two point blank range. Cardinals are 0 for 7. Starting this game against BYU with 17-12 to go. First half. Smith covered closely by Payne, and Payne will pick up the foul his first. And Tim, that's the key matchup of this, of this game. Kenny Payne on Michael Smith. Denny Crum was worried about who to put on Smith because he goes inside and outside. I think he thought long and hard about Crook, but he doesn't want to get Crook in foul trouble, so Payne was the answer. Michael Smith, the junior from Hacienda Heights, California, one of seven of the BYU team members who have served their Mormon mission. He's 22 years of age, having spent two years in Argentina and uh, is a fluent in Spanish. A very bright guy, an academic All-American, not to mention fluent in English, as we saw yesterday, and fluent in basketball. Seven to zip, BYU. Keith Williams was fouled, but he wanted the basket, obviously. But finally, the Cardinals uh, will get the free throw trying to get on the board. Tim Smith is going to emote. He's going to yell at his teammates. 
He's going to make baskets, rebound, defend. He wears number four. There's an interesting story there. He started out at Brigham Young with number 34. Came back to the mission war number 20, uh, number 34 was stolen. Went to number 20. And now this season wears number four as a symbol of the final four. He's an inspiring kind of player. The teammates do respond to him. Williams makes the pair. Danny Crum, not smiling yet, but at least he's got his team started. 7-2, to two. this is Captain back the other way. And that's automatic. If they let him shoot that in there, this kid goes for 30 today. Jeff Chapman, senior from Talladega, Alabama. 59% shooter from the field. Herbert Crook, rebound by the little man, Haas. Haas in traffic, out for Smith. Three-point try, he's got it. There he goes. Six foot ten. This the kid is Danny Ferry West. Shoots the three pointer, goes inside, bombs you there. Five points for Smith early. Ellison forced out by Chapman. Williams inside for Ellison. First basket for Curtis Ellison. 12 for the score. BYU on top. Chapman. Williams rebound. Herbert Crook to Ellison. Williams, that won't go for him, and Smith rebound. Boy, that's been a problem for Louisville for two seasons, Tim. Their guard play that specifically shoot the shoot shooting from the two guards. You can see Louisville one for ten so far from the floor. Pause, bounce pass, broken up by Williams and the steal. To the freshman, the Bradford Smith, giving it over Toulson, and he'll get a foul. First on Toulson, the sophomore from Twin Falls, Idaho. Of course, we talk about great athletes, and LaBradford Smith, the Louisville freshman, is certainly one of the best in the tournament. There's a quick-handed move by, by Williams. And on the steal. Mike Abram has come in for Kenny Payne for the Cardinals. Abram, the swing man, will play guard and forward. This time coming in for the forward Payne. Mike Abram, senior from Muncie, Indiana. Tim LaBradford Smith mirrors the Louisville up and down season. Kid had uh, one for five and fouled out in his debut against Notre Dame. Just played terribly. Danny Crum had a stiff talking to him. Twelve days later, he went for 32 points against Indiana. And he is a great free throw shooter. This freshman, over 90% on the year. And of course, he's facing the best free throw shooting team in this tournament, Brigham Young. That's 31 consecutive free throws. Field by the Cardinals, Ellison to Williams. 12 to 8. Smith quickly up to Haas for BYU. Tim, Louisville has a fearsome press as everyone, a, a fearsome fast break, excuse me, as everyone knows, but Brigham Young will play that game with you. Smith, bank shot, Smith, Yusevich on the follow, he's fouled. A flash by Abram with a hand. First against Abram. Second team foul on Louisville. Tim, this uh, missionary situation at, at Brigham Young, they, the, st the standard deal is that it usually takes a player a couple of years to get back in the groove in basketball, and Yusevich is an example. He had a very subpar season after coming back from New Zealand. This missionary work was in New Zealand last season. But this, this season, he's, he's had a terrific year. Jim Yusevich, a senior from Huntington Beach, California. Six foot nine. As I said, in New Zealand, I, he doesn't look like a kid who eats uh, kiwis. <laughs> 14 to 8, BYU lead. Cardinals finally get something started. We'll be back in a moment. Game advances to the Sweet 16, and they will be the last of eight teams going in from today's action. Oklahoma won earlier here today, 107-87 over Auburn. Right here in Atlanta, and we'll give you the rest of the scores from earlier today as we go along. 14 to 8, BYU lead. 
Louisville and Red. Working from our left. This is Williams. Williams, Truck, Ellison, Abram, and LeBradford Smith. On the floor for the Cardinals. Herbert Crook over use of it. Tim Crook, Crook got loose from, from Chapman, who is his man. And Yusevich was a little late in coming over for the help. Crook had 22 against Oregon State with 11 rebounds in the first round game. Victory by Louisville. Paz, Toulson, Yusevich, Smith, and Chapman, the starters, still in there for BYU. Chapman in traffic. Chapman turn around. Semi hook. They'll score all day on that shot. 16 to 10. Smith for Ellison. Back for the freshman. Ooh, a little Brigham Young passing there. Who will hands out? Haas right up court. Ellison with a perfectly timed block. Haas thought it should have been goaltending, but it did appear to be on the way up. Great play by Ellison. <laughs> Tipping in his own layup try on the feed from Crook. Toulson three-point try. He's got it. See how quick Brigham Young did? gets it down on the break. Four for four on three-point tries. Six points for Toulson. Little lob for Ellison. Good turnaround. Again, too often in the last two years, never nervous. has been really impervious nervous. He's been indifferent, oblivious to things, but he looks like he came to play today. Great point margin for BYU. Smith in difficulty, recovers from Williams. Chapman stopped in the lane by Ellison, who fouls him. Now you can tell already that we've got more Louisville fans here than we have BYU fans in Atlanta. So it's a long way to Salt Lake. Rhode Island over Syracuse, big upset today. Duke over SMU. Michigan over 100 against Florida. 65% for the field. Purdue, another Big Ten team with a century mark. North Carolina, 123 to 97 over Loyola Marymount. And Kansas State over DePaul, 66 to 58. So all of those games completed, and we've all moved into the Sweet 16. There's one more to go, and that is the winner of this game here in Atlanta. Of course, here's Jeff Chapman from Talladega, Alabama, not far down the road. So he lives a mile and a half from the stock car track. 21 to 16. Abram. Crooks on the rebound, poked away by Haas, and Haas will pick up a foul for his effort. Meanwhile, Abram and Toulson colliding. First foul against Haas. And Liddell Anderson will send in Brian Taylor for Toulson. It was just about this time in the opener against Charlotte that Anderson sent Taylor in, and Taylor turned a sluggish BYU offense into a well-oiled machine. They're off to a better start in this game by far than they were against USC Charlotte. Taylor is definitely bringing down the best passer, best free throw shooter. Brings some solidity out there on the floor. Abram outside for Kenny Payne. Williams can't get the shot off. Abram lets it fly. He's got it. 21 to 18. Louisville closes to within three. Let's screw up our, our, our run the ball, go now, don't touch it. Uh, run the line. <laughs> Michael Smith just said to the referee, they're screwing up our offense, touching the ball like this. Well, now two Cardinals go down in the paint. But recover in time as Haas brings it up slowly. Traveling call against Haas, careless play by the point guard. Screwing up our offense means that uh, Smith can't grab the ball out of the net and fire it right. down the court. Yes. He's a kid, a great quarterback in high school, Tim Ryan. 
40 touchdown passes, Michael Smith. Still a three-point lead for BYU. Herbert Crook. Smith rebound. Pause. Quickly up to Taylor. Chapman speed broken up. Benny Payne breaking quickly to Williams. Felton Spencer, who just has come into the game. Felton Spencer, sophomore center from Louisville, goes seven feet. Missed at the three-point try. Rebounded by Payne. And this is a lineup we thought we thought Louisville might might use. We might get Spencer into the game a lot more today to combat the physicalness of Brigham Young underneath. Yusevich picked up the foul for we might, BYU. We might point out, Felton Spencer started Louisville's first game against Notre Dame and hasn't started since. Denny Crum kind of gave up on him right away. He went into the season suspecting to maybe run a double post low, low high tandem with Ellison and Spencer. It hasn't worked out, but Spencer's going to play a lot today, I think. Well, he's going to stay in now with Ellison, which makes him a formidable front. So they have Abram, LeBradford Smith, Payne, Spencer, and Ellison now for Louisville. A one point game. Cougars on top. Cardinals have not led. Have a chance here. The freshman Smith for Abram. And he Payne. Three points. That's what Kenny Payne can do. A terrific high school shooter who has been in a two, three year slump here at Louisville. First lead of the game for the Cardinals. But he nailed that one. In the game at guard for BYU, Nathan Paul, number 23, he's their defensive specialist. Yusevich turn around. He's fouled by Spencer. First is Felton Spencer. Then he comes in like the call. So the Cougars now have Yusevich and Smith, Newelson, Paul, and Taylor. So Taylor moving up to the forward spot. Yusevich goes to the line. He'll be shooting two. remaining in the tournament. Yes, the team, 76%. We're tied at 23. Abram. Smith. Rebound by Spencer. And a chance for the three-point play. Michael Smith picks up the foul. Milton Spencer throwing his medal here against the big front line of Brigham Young. He just wide bodies it and gets that away from Smith. Great positioning. Ball's a little out of reach. He still got it. Second personal on Michael Smith. Chapman comes back in. Toulson goes out. So Taylor will become a guard now with Nathan Paul. Spencer missing the free throw try. Nathan Call organizing for BYU. So we have a timeout on the floor, 9.41 to go, and Louisville leads by two. Here in Atlanta, and so far the domination inside, at least point-wise, has been by the Cardinals of Louisville. And one reason is bringing in this big guy, Felton Spencer, to join Ellison. 
Meanwhile, Michael Smith hits for three. The six foot ten inside man hits from outside. That'll eliminate a lot of inside power right there. Smith does have a tendency to go outside and hit those threes, and they're going to have to guard him out there. Black player of the year had an outstanding first game against Charlotte, 29 points. Smith picking up the, the foul for the Cardinals. Of course, Tim and Rule, will they call a Bradford Smith L.A. Uh, and uh, along about three quarters of the way through the season when he was turning the ball over so much, they started calling T.O. the turnover. His assist to turnover ratio is even Steven coming in this game, 147 and 147. And that is not good. Feet inside, Felton Spencer muscling with use of it, and it'll be Cougar ball. And the possession arrow. Fair course is Denny Crum, the cool hand Luke of this tournament. He's won 27 games in the NCAA. Only John Wooden, Adolph Rupp, and Dean Smith have won more. Good effort by Smith. Paid off as he knocked it off the BYU player. Well, we'll be selecting our Chevrolet players of the game at the conclusion of every CBS Sports NCAA tournament broadcast. Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship to the general scholarship fund of each school for the assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. Herbert Cook passed to Ellison, and Cook had a clear shot from underneath. Came up empty on the feed to Ellison. The Cardinals will keep the ball, and Williams comes in, and out goes Mike Abram. Keith Williams, number three, now working the backcourt with the freshman Smith. Mason Paul all over him, and he'll get the foul. Of course, that's a mismatch athletic-wise. Nathan Call against LeBradford Smith. Sixteen foul on BYU, one away from the bonus. So Smith wears number 23. Same number as Michael Jordan, who he has been compared to. Purvis Ellison from the free throw line with a field goal. The 7 to 26 Cardinal. Use of it keeps it alive, but a nice intercept by Smith. Down quickly to Crook. Ellison. Oh, yeah. Never nervous, Purvis Ellison. Putting on a show so far, Tim. Three-point Cardinal lead. We want to credit a great alley -oop pass from superb Herb Crook. Control for the Cougars inside of Yusevich. Rolled it right across the rim, but he was fouled. Spencer, I believe. Let's go back and have a look at that. This is Crook. Faking and then throwing a little lob to Ellison who knocks it down. Of course, these are the two veterans from the 1986 championship team. And though Ellison was named MVP of that tournament, a lot of people thought Crook was at least as valuable going down the stretch in the NCAA. Spencer leaves with two fouls, and Yusevich at the line. With the Cougars trailing by three. And he came back in. In the braids on the right and the red and white Louisville stripes, Purvis Ellison's mom from Savannah, GA about a little commuter flight away from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so much fun for the parents when they can get to a region where their sons are playing. A lot of Louisville fans here, but uh, this is a short drive and this is Ellison. Herbert Cook from the baseline. And he team rebound. Michael Smith. and clears the glass. 
Smith missing it. And with 7.26 remaining here in the first half, a one-point margin in the second round action from the Southeast region at the Omni in Atlanta. Cardinals 29 to 28. Ten points for Ellison of the Cardinals. And six points for Chapman and Yusevich and Toulson. Seven points for Michael Smith of BYU. Boy, this is a case of uh, Bradford Smith diving at Taylor and Taylor traveling. I think he was stunned to see this kid come so high in the air after him. Cardinals retained possession and Cook with the feed, watch by Chapman. Cook, Timmy superb herb is just wearing out uh, Chapman down low and on the baseline. Jeff Chapman bringing the best defender and, and Herb Cook having no problem with him. Hawes found some room down the middle, but it won't go for him. Keith Williams rebounding. Here's Smith. Oh, excellent. Foul by Taylor. Bay City, Texas own La Bradford Smith. An impeccable resume out of high school. Boy, great body control on this one. And this kid is already a legend from high school and now in his freshman year at Louisville. Tim, Tim they say though Bradford Smith was going down for a dunk in high school and leaped right over a man trying to take the charge. Just jumped right over him. He's high jump 6'10. He's on the 100 yard dash in 9'8. He has a vertical leap of 42 inches. That's David Thompson Lane. He's probably still growing for this race. There's a question. Just a terrific athlete, also a Major League Baseball uh, prospect as a pitcher and a first baseman. 32 consecutive free throws he has made. Three of them in this game. Chapman. He's got it. 34 to 30. Louisville. Pace is quickening. Ellison. Chapman on the rebound. And even when Ellison misses, he's so aggressive today. He is so into this game. Yusevich inside is fouled. Coming through here is that everybody on the floor is really excited about this game. They're having fun. You can see that this is a it's a good matchup, and you have the feeling the players sense it. But they're going to have a real good time out here today. Well, unlike the first game, where whereas we saw Auburn kind of you know I don't want to say they gave up, but with Chris Morris looking so poor and, and just uh, not into the game, Oklahoma had the easy runaway. Mike Abram comes back in for. Louisville as Yusevich goes to the line. 6.04 to go here in the first half. This is a familiar sight from Yusevich on the foul line. Well, at halftime, Jim Nance and James Brown will bring you up to date on all of the activities of today's NCAA tournament action and tell you about tomorrow. Some great matchups tomorrow. 17 gone into the Round of 16, and this will be number eight. The winner, Tim Liddell Anderson. Liddell Anderson has to be pretty happy. They're, they're in a two-point game without much production from Michael Smith. Williams. Speeding Smith. Okay, the Louisville speed and quickness now uh, coming to the fore. They're just beating, bringing them to the spot. It's been a problem for the Cougars all season long with quickness. When they go up against quick teams, it's trouble. Michael Smith. Stolen rebound. Anderson, or rather a Taylor, getting up to uh, steal that rebound, but it'll be Louisville ball. Tim, you know, for a veteran solid ball club like Brigham Young, this team throws up. So many off-balance, outrageous jumpers, and you know they're from the Kreshmer Chosic school of outrageousness. Chosic, of course, the Yugoslav who played at Brigham Young many years ago. Now the national team coach of the Yugoslavian national team. Brian Taylor picked up a foul on that play, and I think it was deserved. His second. Directing traffic. 
Crook blocked by Smith. BYU thought he traveled, that Crook traveled on that play. Crook puts it over to Abram. He got it, Mike Abram. Mike Abram been a key reserve off the bench for Louisville down the stretch. Won the Memphis State game with a shot at the buzzer. And now he and Hawes have a few words right there. 4.42 to go, a live Yummy in Atlanta. Second round action in the Southeast. Louisville leading BYU by six. And look at these numbers here, Curry, because they really tell a story. Louisville has had 33 field goal attempts, only 16 by BYU. Well, I think that's an edge of, of, the, of the Louisville speed, as we said, that has bothered, uh, has bothered Brigham Young all season. Points off turnovers, Louisville with 14, Brigham Young with one. Cougars with the ball, 4.42 to go, first half. Chapman, hook shot. Ellison, pushed by Yusevich. And they're in the bonus, it'll be one on one for Purvis Ellison. Tim, we asked Jeff Chapman uh, the other day who Louisville reminded him of in their league in the WAC conference, and he said UTEP, and that may be prophetic. UTEP defeated Brigham Young twice in the late phase of the season, both on the home court of Brigham Young. UTEP, of course, eliminated yesterday by Seton Hall of the Big East. Wyoming defeated by Loyola Marymount. They're both out. Brigham Young carrying the colors of the wax. Miss rebounding and missed free throw from Ellison. Paws, the quickest of the Cougars. Down court. And Michael Smith for another three. Tim, he throws almost a, that shot like a shot put. The old George McGinnis shot put J. Only George didn't have to go three pointers. Crook for two. 41 to 37. Chapman fouled, but the ball would drop for him. Tim, let's watch this a little bit. Here's Michael Smith with the ball from three-point range. Well, he took it up from his waist, but it, that's Perry O'Brien, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't waste any time on loading it. Chapman will shoot two. First, Jeff Chapman recruited by Brigham Young five years ago in this very tournament in the NCAA. Brigham Young playing in Birmingham, won the game, stayed over, and went to see a high school all-star game and discovered Jeff Chapman there. If they'd have lost, they'd never seen him. They'd have gone home. He makes a pair, cutting the margin to two. Chapman had 17 against Charlotte in round one of this tournament. Third in the last scoring this year with a 19-5 average. Ellison last to touch it. Cardinal fans thought Haas gave him a pretty good nudge. So did Denny Crum. See Michael Smith screaming out, pointing to Liddell Anderson, pointing to his teammates. He's the leader, number four. Haas double teamed and Abram steal. Crook catches up with it. Picked up, make it to Crook. Crook on the foul. His second. Herbert Crook, number 41.
Patrick had quite a night. North Oregon State, 22 points, 11 rebounds. Ellison had 23 points and 11 rebounds. Here's Usovich again on the line. Him an earlier game. Uh, Usovich once played at Michigan State and started to take his warm-ups off and his shorts came off. <laughs> Fans started chanting for, we want Usovich, we want Usovich. He got him on back in time. <laughs> Usovich missed the second of two. And the Cougars trail by one. For the Ellison and Chapman knocks it loose from behind. <laughs> Michael Smith fires at the use of it. Oh, that's a great it. pass from Smith. A baseball pass in traffic. Seldom see that. Smith looked and just fired it on the money. The basket will count, but Yusevich picked up the foul on the play. And of course, you don't get the NBA continuation call there. Ellison will be at the line for the Cardinals at the other end. But just a terrific pass from Michael Smith, showing his versatility. You saw the great pass he threw yesterday, uh, two days ago against Charlotte. Yusevich getting a rest with his third foul. Tim, that's important because bringing on has virtually no front court replacement. They now go with a three-guard lineup. Andy Tulson, Marty Hawes, Brian Taylor, with Chapman and Smith. Getting balanced scoring for the Cougars. 12 for Chapman, 11 for Yusevich, 10 for Smith. Ellison leading the way for the Cardinals with 12. We are tied at 42 with 2.18 to go. Well played first half. Oh, Smith, both drop for him. What a move, though. Right for Smith. We've got a couple of athletes named Smith on this floor in this game. The winner advances to the Sweet 16. Kenny Payne. Payne. Cardinals in front again. Ryan Taylor. Guarding closely by Payne. Lobbing it for two. don't seem to be giving that three-point range as much as they were earlier. Taylor feeding Michael Smith. Keith Williams rebounds and Chapman fouls him. I think it's instructed that Michael Smith is, is, ha is trying to be a little too cute and he's, he's almost having to be because of the Louisville quickness. He's got a double pump. Shoot those... Uh, Shot put Jays from his hip to a wraparound layup that, that he also missed. They're not used to this quick, quickness in the wax. Keith Williams at the line for Louisville, the first personal of the game to Chapman. And 16 to go, a two-point lead now becomes three. here in Atlanta, Oklahoma walloped Auburn 107-87 to advance to Birmingham and they'll meet the winner of this game. <laughs> 46-42 Hard left fly from the three-point range and it's rebounded by the Bradford Smith. Going the distance Tim, the Bradford dribbled right by our position at courtside that time, and it was in his eye. I'm going all the way, and that's exactly where he took it. This is a deuce all the way. And Toulson fouled him, and he loves it. His second personal. Smith. He 
just doesn't miss from there. Who's the last freshman to come into college basketball average 90 percent over 90 percent from the foul line? Michael Smith. Kenny Payne with a rebound. Seven point margin and Louisville ball. Tim Brigham, seconds left. Brigham Young doing a lot of quick shooting here. Not taking their time, not being patient, and that's dangerous against Louisville when she get the ball up court so quickly. Michael Smith seems to be a little too eager to try and make something happen for his team. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Maybe they're now clearing up out for L.A. here. L.A. La Bradford Smith. Remember, this is a freshman. Ellison. And Timmy, I believe that's Michael Smith's third foul. And that's going to be trouble for Brigham Young. They give it to Toulson or Smith here. Oh, they called it on Toulson before. From behind, that's yep. right. So Toulson picked up his third. That's not quite as dangerous a situation <laughs> as having three on Michael Smith for the Brigham Young Cougars. Ellison going for the three-point play. Steal at the buzzer, and Bradford, LeBradford Smith chucks it up. But the Cardinals with a burst at the end of the half. Have taken a 51 to 42 lead. That's the end of the first half. Jim Nance and James Brown will join us from New York. 10 pass right here. And the jam. That's been the story all afternoon. Brigham Young is going to have to find a way to coach this more But they have not hurt themselves with turnovers at all. And they have, on the other hand, been turning those BYU. Turnovers into points and on their own fast break, 14 to 2. Williams driving, but he traveled. Still a nine point deficit. And Denny Crum, whose team won this championship just two years ago, uninvited last year, still talking about that snub. And uh, played the toughest schedule in the country this year and got in despite 10 defeats. Now feels, hey, might just be there when it comes down to the end. Of course, Tim, last year's champion, Indiana, already eliminated, but we still have a defending title holder, and that's Louisville, and there's Ellison. With the block. was stuffed by Ellison. And Ellison has the ball. And he came perfectly banked. And we might say something right here about Kenny Payne. He's, he's had about 7.6 rebounds in the first half. And that's been a vulnerable position for a couple of years in Louisville, with a small forward spot. The position man in past years by the likes of Derek Smith, Rodney McRae, Billy Thompson. Ellison charged for pushing uh, Yuzovic, his second personal. But meanwhile, let's watch his blocked shot here. On Toulson. Pretty handy. Very agile. Purvis Ellison at 6'9. It's good reach to Junior from Savannah. 94 block shots on the season. On that play, Toulson was trying to lay it up on the same basket that his cousin's husband laid it up to in 1981, Danny Ainge. Away from the ball, Michael Smith and Crook collide and that is the third personal on Smith. Tim, we talk about Purvis Ellison, the most valuable player in 86. He was only the second freshman to win that award. We just saw Arnie Farron of Utah, the uh, selection committee chairman who was the first freshman to win the MVP award in 1944. Cardinals up 53 to 42. Let's it fly from three-point range. He's got it. He was their leader in that department with 25 of 67 on the season. We're going to have to step up and check that shot. 56 to 42. Cardinals open it up. Tim Ellison just all over the court, offensively, defensively. Smith. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. A lot of 
questions Ken, in this very game today. Trying to get Louisville to the third round. Ellison again. Oh, deja vu in Atlanta. 16 points for Purvis Ellison. Michael Smith. And that's his third. That's trouble for Brigham Young. Four personals on Michael Smith. Basket counted. Michael Smith after Jim Barr on that one. There's Jim Barr, the referee that ran Bobby Knight out and he played the rush. Bradford Smith and Williams working the backcourt. This is a gamble by Liddell Anderson leaving Smith in, but as we pointed out, he really doesn't have a choice. Another truck. Rebound by Haas. There are hardly any big men to replace him. <laughs> Three pointer by Michael Smith, another reason he left him in. <laughs> That's why he's in right there. <laughs> 58 to 49. Bradford Smith. Pause. We talked up the foul. Excuse me. We talked about the Brigham Young missionaries. Of course, most of the missionary work for the Mormons is done overseas. Marty Hawes, the man who just went down, did his missionary work in Florida. They tell me Orlando. I think he was spreading the word in Disney World. <laughs> Smith now on the bench for BYU. Wilson, nice shot. at all from this young man. 18 points. Purvis wearing out the Cougars now. 60 to 49. Louisville. And without Michael Smith, a diminished lineup indeed for the Cougars. Use of it. Won't go for him. Ellison. Oh, another there. Ellison rebound. Keith Williams. Use of it. Good effort. Toolson. Again. Furious face. Finally, the Bradford Smith slows it down. Herbert is just stacking up the numbers here. Are there any more questions about him? Is he ready for this tournament? And he came. points for Chapman. Smith left with 15. Now Bradford Smith missing and a foul called on Kenny Payne. His third. 14-19. Remaining. Louisville 63 to 54. Advancing impressively, and the score here 63 to 54. And with Michael Smith on the bench, I believe that's 15 points, but he's got four fouls, and uh, they obviously need to have him on the floor. With 14 minutes to go, he's got to take some time on the bench. Ellison leading with 18 points. 
is having a big day with six rebounds at this point for Louisville. And Marty Haas picks up another Cougar foul that brings Liddell Anderson to his feet. Benny Crumb takes the opportunity to shout out some instructions to his leading Cardinals. Cook inbounds to Felton Spencer. Spencer, Ellison, Crook, Abram, and LeBradford Smith now the lineup for the Cardinals. So they got big guys against little guys. Michael Smith out for BYU. It is Louisville passing. It's got to remind Brigham Young of himself. Oh! <laughs> Ellison tried to reverse on that lob pass. It was very close. Hey, Purvis, you can do a lot of things, but I don't know about that one. <laughs> this is a great effort by Purvis Ellison, though. Timmy, watch them work the ball around. Well, we and then go for the pass with Ellison with the behind the, the ear jam drive. Well, Ellison will go to the line for two. A great passing sequence by Louisville around the horn on that prior to that uh, last pass. Ten point margin now for Louisville. Brigham Young interior passing. They've been living off this passing game all season. But they haven't gone up against the quick hands of this team. Coulson comes in for Gary Cross. Cross, a lanky freshman center, had a minute or two out there, but they've gone back to the three guard offense. Now there's a mismatch. Ellison on Taylor. Now he backs back in. Purvis does. Good little matchup zone by Louisville here. Taylor hit. Done. They're, they're just getting around the horn of the Brigham Young zone and getting inside to Spencer Ellison for the easy two. Spencer with six points, going for seven. Oh. 
Rico. Spends the rebound. Jerry Cartini or this guy, Liddell Anderson. He's, he's going, where did that webbit go? 11.35 to go in the game, and Cardinals threatening to open it beyond recall for the Cougars. 71 to 58. careful here, Timmy. He is furious. Stomping, stalking. They're calling a double foul, I think, here, Tim. Liddell really in a quandary. Two of his big guys inside on the bench with four fouls. And there they are, Michael Smith and Jim Yusevich. So Spencer got the Cardinal foul, and the Cardinals get the ball. BYU got possession, pardon me. So it was a double foul called and the possession arrow. They're pointed toward BYU, therefore they get the ball. If you can figure that out, that's it. Spencer and Coulson are the guys who got the foul. Coulson missing and steals it back from Williams. But the Cardinals come up with it. Williams has it. on the bench getting a rest. Forte all season long resulted in nothing there. Spencer just pulling Coulson inside. Ross bangs it off to Taylor. Utah State for a long time, coached the Utah Stars of the ABA, then went to the 
become athletic director of Utah State. Got out of coaching for a long time. Came back five years ago to take over the reins again as Brigham Young. Well, Michael Smith is back in the lineup with four fouls on him. And he goes right to the basket. Tim Liddell had to make his move here. The game was getting away from him. He put in both Yusevich and Smith and got a basket right away. Approaching the nine-minute mark to go, a 15-point margin. Cardinal, very impressive. Far. Saying, uh, well, we might be a couple of years away. We've got a young team. Not like the 86 squad. Meanwhile, playing a fine ball. Would you say soft selling? Soft selling. Spencer, well, you know, it should be pointed out. Let's call it a con job, right? Let's call it a con job. May have done that earlier that uh, there are 10 defeats. Nine of them were the teams uh, in the NCAA tournament. The tournament began. Turnaround by Michael Smith, and now Smith is going to have to go to work. Brigham Young eliminated in this tournament last season by New Orleans in an upset. Here in the second round, wants to get back, wants to get to Birmingham. Down the road to Jeff Chapman home. It's a long hill though for him to climb. the Cardinals on the fly. Deja Vu, 1980 national champions, 1986 national champions. Here's how they did it. Is there any doubt that they're ready? This team uninvited to this tournament last season. Everybody remembers they're very upset about it. Denny Crum criticized the committee. They're back again. Now will be calling on Bradford Smith. The second. Now this club is in command here, 81 to 62. Nathan Ball, and it's stolen from him by Williams. Well, those are nails in the coffin, that kind of a play. No answers for Brigham Young. Here we'll see it again. Oh, oh just a quick hand. Keith Williams. Cardinal Crook. Oh, and they have another steal as Smith mishandled it and Herbert Crook took it away. Chapman tries to steal it back. And it will be Cardinal Ball. 
the alertness, the quickness, Tim just making a difference. It has the entire Brigham Young offense now disconcerted. Might point out nobody has run this team out like this since Alabama, Birmingham at midseason. When Brigham Young was 17 and 0, went into Birmingham with a chance to be the number one ranked team in the country with a win, got blown out by a team very similar to this in speed and quickness. That was Gary Frost, the freshman center on the bench, perhaps uh, reflecting the team mood of the Cougars at this point. Travel called. The Bradford getting a little cocky out here, a little sloppy. There's Purvis grabbing him. <laughs> Benny Crum pointing to his temple. Pink for Bradford. Posting up well, getting position, the lob pass, and down. Chapman is going to require a little bit of attention. He may get poked in the eye. Of course, Tim Chapman, one of the few black athletes at Brigham Young, and, and this particular black athlete changed his religion. He's joined the Church of Latter-day Saints on December 6th. Adele Anderson was his confirmation man. He got baptized. 500 people showed up. He drew a huge crowd. He drew a That's huge crowd. Yeah. Jeff Chapman from Talladega, Alabama. Liddell Anderson said that Jeff Chapman is probably the most popular player to play at Brigham Young since freshman at Chelsea. Approaching the five-minute mark now, and the Cardinals very much in control. Ellison followed by Crook. A no bad offensive goal, 10. Superb Herb got a little too high while the ball was still on the rim. because the Louisville quickness is forcing him to do so. Williams finds Crook open. He's got it. And it's amazing how Louisville just comes on at the end of the season. Of course, every season but last year. Taylor. Fall away jumper off balance. Williams gets loose. Here comes Ellison. Okay, it's 1986, we just beat Duke for the national championship. 
Who else you got? You got Oregon State. We beat them the other night. about how well his team has been finishing the season. Our team has won 12, 13 of our last 15 games, and, and our two losses were both real good basketball teams on the road. And in this tournament play, everything's on a neutral floor. So if we can play like we did in our conference tournament, uh, we've got a chance to beat anyone on a given night. Those two losses were to two outstanding teams. North Carolina State, Louisville lost by 12. DePaul, Louisville lost by 19. It's funny, both North Carolina State and DePaul are out of this tournament already. Louisville still alive. Very much alive with a commanding lead here and the opportunity to play Oklahoma in Birmingham in the Sweet 16. Allison on the bench, Spencer getting some time. from everywhere in the stream there now. The sky is falling. 16 points for Kenny Payne. Michael Smith driving the lane. Spencer making the front. This will be a terrific matchup. Purvis Ellison, superb Herb Crook down low against Stacey King and Horace Grant. Excuse me, Harvey Grant. Horace Grant is his twin brother with the Chicago Bulls. Now Birmingham on Thursday will be that game. Of course, this kid right here will not be there. Jeff Chapman from just down the road in Talladega, Alabama. Chapman with 18 points, five rebounds, had himself a fine day, but and you can see on his face, he's resigned to defeat now, but he has had a great day against Louisville. Make a nice game. Chapman. Boy, he's still trying. 
He was not going easily here, but with all the guys in foul trouble, two tall order. 51 seconds to go. There's our action tomorrow on CBS. Our NCAA championship coverage continues with a triple header, Maryland and Kentucky, the game in Cincinnati. Seton Hall and Arizona. And that's a very intriguing matchup. Everybody knows about Arizona. I'm not sure they know what to expect from Seton Hall. Well, it's East versus West there. And, of course, we have in that final game, Iowa against Nevada, Las Vegas, a revenge game for the Hawkeyes. They were nipped at the, in the bud by Vegas last season to get to the final four. Michael Smith has left the game. Michael Smith with 21 points into the ball game, getting a little time here in the tournament. There you see a chagrin, Michael Smith, All-American on the court, academic All-American, second year in a row. Frustrated. A great year for the WAC, but it ends all right here. And Liddell Anderson with his substitute getting some playing time here at the finish. He's been off the bench today, 15 points. Now at the conclusion of our game, we'll be going back to our studio in New York with Jim Nance. And we'll get completely updated on all of the activity today, including uh, earlier upsets. And Listen to the hand for Felton Spencer. Sixteen points and uh, the high five from Ellison is that uh, position certainly contributed today. Twenty-four by Ellison, sixteen for Spencer. That's Cross forty. Foul. That's forty big ones in anybody's language, right? Yes. Boy, that Even is... all the languages that Brigham Young guys <laughs> speak. <laughs> and there you see Chapman. Uh, the irony that as the game came to a close, uh, he needed that ice pack, and I'm sure he's just got a headache from. The pounding of Louisville in addition to that accidental blow he took underneath. Great career for Jeff Chapman. He's played more games than any Brigham Young player in history. Chapman with 19 points on the day, a fine afternoon. And right there we saw right there we saw never nervous, impervious Purvis Ellison smiling. And you don't see that very often. Agonizing finish here, six seconds left. Apologies <laughs> picked up. Guarantee you're right. Then he comes worrying about Oklahoma right this very second. I guarantee that. And I imagine Billy Tubbs is still here watching a little round ball somewhere. <laughs> Unless he went out and tried to run it up on some high school team <laughs> in the local uh, area. <laughs> I like uh, the fact he doesn't make too many apologies for the way he scores heavily. Is that the idea? You get as many as you can get to try and stop the other guys from scoring. That'll be it. Louisville Cardinal. An impressive advance to Birmingham. 97 to 76 over the number 
number four seed here, BYU. They'll now meet the top seed here in Atlanta, but they'll be playing in Birmingham in the Sweet 16 against Oklahoma. And we'll be joining Jim Nance in New York in just a moment.